Hello, I'm Joseph Alpert. I'm Editor-in-Chief of the American Journal of Medicine. And today I want to call your attention to a very interesting article in this month's American Journal of Medicine. It's an article from the University of Aalborg in Denmark, um, uh, where there's a large group of, of endocrinologists uh, interested in thyroid disease. Um, there is an entity known as subclinical hypothyroidism. Uh, that is individuals who have a usually a modestly elevated TSH, that is thyroid stimulating hormone from the pituitary, but normal uh, thyroid hormone levels, uh, thyroxin levels, T4 levels. Um, so it has been suggested, well, maybe these people have early hypothyroidism. Many of them complain of fatigue and cold sensations and abnormality in their hair growth and so forth. And so it's been suggested, well, maybe they would benefit um, by having a, 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 you know, some thyroid hormone. Well, in fact, some studies have been done and the studies really didn't show any, any benefit. What was done in this study in a large uh, group of patients collected in Northern Denmark over a number of years um, who had this sub, so-called or entity subclinical hypothyroidism, um, they uh, took a screening uh, sort of interview with them and got down all the symptoms that they had, fatigue and sensations of cold and so forth and so on. And then they interviewed a large number of age matched controls. And it turned out that they also had the same number of symptoms. So the, the whole idea that the, these subclinical hypothyroid patients were actually symptomatic is not true. That the symptoms they had were the same as, as uh, anybody else um, would have. Uh, no surprise when the patients had other uh, uh, disease states that increased the likelihood that they would have some of these same symptoms. So again, this supports the idea that, the, that there really is no such thing as an entity of subclinical hypothyroidism. Um, it, it, and it definitely shouldn't be treated with thyroid hormone because excess thyroid hormone can lead to a number of bad events. So uh, very interesting and very useful article for primary care doctors uh, um, and even specialists who are constantly seeing a thyroid test where there's a slight elevation in the TSH, but normal T4 levels. Thanks very much for reading the AJM. Please uh, stay in touch with us through our many social media uh, venues, Facebook, Twitter, our websites and so forth. And of course, also the journal. Thank you very much.